Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Uranium Nuzlocke. This is part two in this episode. We we have a little bit of a squad. I wanted to say like the teams all together, but we're, we're not quite at that point yet. At the moment we're going to be going with uh, basically our star. We're going to try and level up Bib along the way. I'm going to try not to split our experience too much at the start. We're going to try and uh, leave out Nor here. Nor's going to just... Nor's going to be there in case uh, we desperately need him. And there is a trainer just down this way who we are going to start this battle off against. Start this battle off against? Start this episode off against with a battle. That's what I meant. And she has an Outen, which we saw right at the start of this game. And sadly, Bib, you're not really going to compare. Do we flash or do we gust for a little bit of damage? We'll gust for a little bit of damage. We can live any one attack at this point. Still does a lot of damage, to be honest. But uh, we will go straight into our star, because our star is going to be a little bit of a safe haven kind of thing for us at the moment, because we don't have the most powerful team. We have just started. And that did a lot of damage. Out and what the heck are your base stats? Why are you so strong? He's doing damage. Are we speed tied? Oh, he did six with the first attack. I can't risk it. God damn it. I don't want to have to use all of our potions straight away, but we're going to have to. This is the one problem with not grinding up on the first episode. Like, I could have grinded up to level seven, but honestly, we can just use a potion and just use the start for a bit, so it's not too much of an issue. I'm going to try and get Bib up as well. Bib hits level four, learns Growl. Pan hits level seven, learns Leech Seed. That's two levels. That makes us in a much better situation than we were in before. And we even get orange berries. We get goodies. Ah, oh, goodies. You can't go wrong with goodies. I mean, that's health. Now, we could, we do also have a rare candy, and I mean, we're going to save that for a little bit later on, but I mean, it's there if we need it. Now, we're going to give an orange berry to our star just because it's there if we desperately need it, and it's, it's better than using it. Because when you use it, that takes up a turn that we could be getting damage off, whereas if we're holding it, it just procs by itself, and that's nice. So we're going to go into this house here. We're going to speak to this... Fat Fisherman. Hey, I'm a fisherman. Good to know. These ponds next to my house have a wide variety of Pokemon. If you prove you are strong, I may give you my old fishing rod. So this is something we're definitely coming back for. But first we need to defeat Maria. No Torch City's Gym Leader. So once we beat a Gym Leader, we can come back here and get a fishing rod, which will give us more encounters, which are going to be very important, that's for certain. So that's something we can definitely keep in mind. I'm just going to put Panther in front. Because this guy is a fisherman, and he's clearly going to have... He's, he's not going to have any water-type Pokemon, because he's not going to battle us. But, uh, yeah. Whoops. Bib, you... I want to use Bib, because this guy's going to have bugs. We're going we're gonna to try it. Oh, god damn it. <gasps> it's adorable. It's like... It's like a Wurmple, but... A Wurmple turned adorable, so we're going to gust it. And hopefully it's going to get one hit and just give some XP. Or not. Are we gonna, are we gonna, do we have, no we have Growl, okay, for some reason I wasn't sure what other move we had. I know this thing learned Quick Attack at some point, honestly I can't wait for Quick Attack, because that will be Stab, and that will make it so String Shot is not a scary thing, because, you know, String Shot, that's scary. We're gonna go straight into this battle with Bug Guy, and hopefully he's just gonna have a load of Cubugs. There's a Cubug, that's level 4, that's moderately scary. Bib, Bib can fight them, Bib is strong. Bib is a strong, independent birdo that don't need no woman. Yes. <laughs> what am I saying? Either way, Cubug goes down to a gust. That's lovely. That's lovely. That's going to give us so much XP. Okay, we are in a fine situation where we should be able to take out this Cubug as well, judging by the damage the last one did. This one is a level higher, but we're a level higher. So he shouldn't kill us even with a crit. If he'd a crit, he would have killed us. That's kind of scary. Um... Everything I just said, I take back everything I just said, and it's now level 7. Oh my god. Bib? Do you want to, like, not level so quickly? Bib, calm down. We're gonna go into the next battle with our starter in front, because I like- I'm one of those people that likes to have my starter just one or two levels higher. That's a water type. That is a Krogunk plus a Totodile. Now I've said it, you will never unsee it. Totodile had some fun times with a Krogunk. This thing is water poison type. It's a good thing it doesn't get liquid ooze. If it, if, I know a lot of like the abilities and stuff of the Pokemon in this game, because as I said, I have been through it for quite a long way. Like I've played through the game to a certain extent. So I, I know this thing doesn't have liquid ooze, but I feel like it could fit. 
Any water poison type can get liquid ooze, in my opinion. All of them. It's just never a bad ability. I mean, it's very situational, but it's not a bad ability. This Fort Hog is slowly getting weak. And how much are we healing with Leech Seed each turn? We heal free, and he does two damage to us. We are healing more than he is damaging us, and that is always nice. We healed up out of that fight. I like that. Our starter gains a lot less XP than Bib. Bib levels up a lot quicker. Bib is a monster right now. Um, we don't have Rock Smash, so I guess we are heading up into Kevlar Town. So, in this town, first of all, where the heck's the Pokemon Center? Just to get my, uh, get my bearings. Pokemon Center is over here. There is a woman there. I'm just gonna go and heal before I speak to her, just in case she's like, battle me for some Pokeballs or something. I don't know what she's gonna say. Either way, this means- ooh. Ooh, ooh, does that mean the route on from here? Encounter? Is it another encounter? Oh, don't show me around the pot. No! <laughs> no! No! So unfortunately we can't bring back Pokemon that have been lost forever. Don't remind me! So she's basically just saying, be careful, you're playing a Nuzlocke, you freaking idiot. Don't go and get your Pokemon killed. So, that in mind... <laughs> Up here we have the Tandor Network, you can connect with other trainers, although I don't think that's still working anymore. And we get Orange Berries, which I mean, I will take Orange Berries. Anyone else have anything to say? Strange Illness. Which star did you pick? I picked Orchinx. Orchinx is Steel type, gives it lots of resistances, but watch out for S'mores Ember. We will be very afraid of S'mores if we ever see them, because Fire type moves are very, very strong against us. Um, this guy wants to fight. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. I'll fight him. Special Chin Monk. Shiny. 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 Not shiny. Level 4. Weak. Weak. We're gonna Leech Seed because it's residual damage that heals us up over time, and it's never a bad thing to go for at the start of a fight. Although I'm pretty sure Scratch would do a good amount to this thing because it is level 4. And we're Adam Natured, which I'm... You know what? I thought about it. I'm kind of happy with that. Not gonna lie. That's... That's really nice, actually, because when it evolves, its attack is a lot higher than its special attack, and I thought they were kind of the same. So, Adamant, it's a lot better than I thought. It's actually a really good ability. He's gonna swap into another Chinmonk. How dare you? How dare you? We're just gonna keep scratching at this point. He got rid of our Leech Seed. The plays. The professional plays. Either way, these things are not living. <laughs> it just doesn't have the type match up. Our star has such a lovely type. He's withdrawing again. You see, I have a problem with that. That's not good. Now, I could swap into Gnaw and give Gnaw some XP, but honestly... Leveling up more than two Pokémon at the start is a risky game. You don't want to level up too many Pokémon because splitting the XP just means you get underleveled quickly. There's a strong difference between being overleveled and underleveled. Overleveled, we can still lose. Even if we get, like, five levels ahead of them, Probably won't happen, because I'm going to try and keep on par with my grinding towards, like, the ace of the next gym. Mm -hmm. Roughly, maybe a little bit below that even. But there is there is definitely going to be times when, even if we're overleveled, we're still going to get absolutely decked. Because there are some certain Pokemon, like the mascot of this game, very strong. Very, very strong. So we're going to look around for some items. There's a strength puzzle here. Crazy. We'll remember that for the later game, when we have strength. I want to hear a good joke. Oh, I'm ready to cry at how bad this is. Let's go. How do you get 50 Pikachu on a bus? You Pokemon. <sighs> I was right with crying. That's, that's, it's overdone. It's overdone at this point. Ah, oh. Sniffle, leave me alone. He heard the joke. <laughs> he definitely heard the joke. 100% got told that joke and went and just cried. So we're going to buy 10 Pokeballs. Pretty common thing to do at the start of the game. You get 10 Pokeballs, we're gonna buy as many potions as we can. We're gonna get like six potions. And we're gonna grab. We can't buy an escape rope as well. Well, I think that should do us for now. We have an antidote in case we need it, but we haven't actually seen any poison types. Plus, our starter is steel types, so we are fine. We will go and speak to everyone around here. We just moved to this town, it's small but homey. I think it'll be a good place to raise a family someday. She. She is ready. She's talking about kids already. Why couldn't we raise some Pokemon instead? This guy gets it. This guy understands. Yes. No no one should have... Come on, no one wants kids. 
kids, kids are a nightmare, let's be honest. Pokemon, Pokemon are much better. Bike repair shop. Okay, how do we get a bike? Good sir. Hey kid, you walked in here, which means that you need a bike repaired. Oh, you don't have one? Well, it figures. Haven't got many customers of late. Now that I've already sold to everyone in Kevlar Town a bike, yeah, that would ruin your business a little bit. Actually, if you bring me a bike wheel, I could fix an old bicycle and give it to you. So he's just a nice guy out to just fill the world with bikes like a friendly person. So when we get ourselves a bike wheel, we'll be back to him. Now we're going to keep getting some berries. We're all about these berries. We're going to use these berries, I can assure you. We will definitely be using these because orange berries. Until we get a, uh, a certain me megastone, megastone, maybe, until we get megastone, they're going to be holding berries. <laughs> My girlfriend is mad at me, so I'm buying her flowers. That doesn't work, you know, buy them chocolate. Come on now. Welcome to Kevlar's Berry Shop. Take a free sample of the delicious berries. We get a Baku Berry. I don't know what that does. I don't know what a Guara Berry does either. Or a Kupu Berry. Or an Akai Berry. I don't know what any of these berries do, but sure, we will t we will take random berries and we will head on to, is this Route 2? This is Route 2. Meaning, this is an encounter right now. Who do I want in front? Honestly, Panther, you can stay up front. You should be fine against anything. And it is... That is dupes. That is dupes. Which I have explained, but for anyone that wants, like, a quick reminder, it just basically means we already caught this Pokemon, so we can catch another one. I am I am just checking I have the option on. Please. Dubious Claws is on. Okay. 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 <sighs> My mouse just appeared on screen. Whoops move the damn window back to where it was. Every time you go into the options, it resets the window back to its original size and location, and I don't like that, because I move it to a place where it's easier for me to, like, look at the camera. Bib. We already have a Bib. There is more than these two Pokemon on this route, I can assure you. We are not catching Pokemon that we already have, because that gets boring. That gets boring. There is more than this, these two Pokemon. I hope it's not just because we're recording this at night time and the other Pokemon spawn in the day. I hope that's not the case. Because we already have both of these Pokemon. Come on, please. Don't do this to me. There is more than these Pokemon. I'm gonna assume Dubious Claws works a multiple amount, or else I'm not- Oh, that's our encounter. That's a barrel. <laughs> that's, that's a barrel. That thing's gonna get explosion, isn't it? Look at it. Tell me that thing doesn't get explosion right now. That did nothing. That did nothing. We're about to have the slowest fight of all time. This is about to be the slowest fight. I hope I can still catch it. Because Dubious Claws was on, and we did see lots of duplicate Pokemon that we already owned. So we should be able to catch this. Unless there's a limit on the amount of times that you can re-encounter. I hope there isn't, because I do want diversity on the team. I would like to catch this, because it would be very different. Like, we definitely don't have anything like this, I can assure you of that. It's, it's kind of cute. It doesn't have a nose or a mouth, but it's kind of cute. I'll take it. It's female. What the heck do I name a barrel? Um. Um. Well, we can catch it, which is good. I was afraid it was gonna, like, bug out somehow. A barrel. The Iron Sphere Pokemon. Incredibly dense metals make up barrel's body. They are much heavier than they look. Wow, they weigh a lot. They live in dark caves and feed on rocks and metal and ore. Uh, what do we name a barrel? Uh... God, I don't have a clue. It doesn't have a mouth. How does it eat metal if it doesn't have a mouth? <laughs> I'm so confused. It has a little tail. The only, like, game I can think of a reference to barrels would be, like, Donkey Kong. And I can't name this thing Donkey Kong because that would fit a monkey more than this. I don't know. Oh, I don't, I don't have a name. I'm a disgrace. Which means... I, I go to what I always do, and I name it something that begins with the same, and it begins with Bah, so I'm going to call it Barry. Oh my god, what the hell kind of name is that? I'm just as embarrassed as everyone watching. I'm, I'm cringing inside as much as you all are. Don't worry, it's not just you. So we're going to check, check him out, see his incredibly high defense stat, I'm sure. So we see Steel Rock, which honestly is not a bad typing. Two Steel types already? That's defensive. Naive Nature. That's kind of trash, not gonna lie. Naive Nature is negative special defense plus speed. We are not a fast Pokemon. I would prefer to have the plus special defense. We are Sturdy, which is always good to have. Always good to have. 
meaning that we have a new member on the team. That's not bad. I will take the new member on the team. There is mankeys in that grass, I am pretty sure, which I was expecting to find, not gonna lie. It was taking so long before we got an actual Pokemon. Now, we are going to battle this guy. Hopefully he's not gonna have... I heard out and nest in this area. I'm trying to catch one. I would have loved an out as well, just because they're... Although we already have a bib. I already have a bib. That name. We already have a bib, so we don't really need another flying type just yet. We'll be fine with just one. Honestly, Gnaw is kind of redundant in terms of typing, whereas Rock Steel is not the worst, because at the moment our starter can't deal with fire types. It doesn't deal with flying types the best. Barry kind of can, so Barry might be worth leveling. Not straight away, but it'll be worth leveling eventually. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, you're going to send in a Chin Monk. I kind of want to level Bib and my start together, so we're going to go into Bib. Bib can deal with this thing just fine, I hope. We're a level above. We should be able to. We're going to Gust him. Tackle is going to do 8 damage. Crits, I'm pretty sure- okay. Speaking of crits, <laughs> conveniently enough, I'm pretty sure crits are 1.5 times the damage, not 2 times the damage. So, that's a very important thing for us to keep in mind as we train up. We got quick attack, and we got so much XP on Bib. Bib levels quickly. Really, really quickly. That being kept in mind, we might be able to level up Barry as well. Who knows? This guy is going to have a Mankey. Okay. Okay, then. Okay, then. Okay, then. Right. We are a steel type. We have all normal and steel types so far. Fighting types are a nightmare. First turn, I'm gonna growl. He's gonna focus energy. We can't be crit, that's a waste of his turn. He's a lot weaker now. Meaning we should be- We're two levels above. We're a defensive starter. We should be able- Low kick, we're not that heavy. Four damage. Four. Four damage. Mankey. Excuse me, Mankey. That is not going to kill us. How much do we heal? We heal too? You know what? We can fight this. We can fight this. If Lokix is only- he doesn't get Karate Chop until later. I know this thing gets Karate Chop later on, but Scratch did a lot more than I expected. I could have just went for several Scratches rather than setting up Leech Seed, but oh well. We get health back. That's never a bad thing. He can't crit us, which is lovely, because if he was critting us, he'd be doing a lot more damage, because he would be going through the attack drop and hitting us with a crit. Meaning he'd probably be doing like over double the damage, which is a lot more. We also get Vine Whip right before a barrel comes out, which is neutral. So you know what? We'll see how much this does. What did it do two? That did more than I thought. We can Vine Whip through a barrel as well. Okay. It does have some monstrous defensive stats though, so that is something to keep in mind. Although we do have a cave right in front of us, meaning we get yet another encounter. They do start you off quite nicely in this game, I can assure you. The niceness will wear off soon, don't worry. They're giving us lots of encounters now, but I can assure you it's it's not gonna stay that way. <laughs> um, do you wanna trade Pokemon numbers? I'll call you whenever I find a rare Pokemon. Sadly, that does not mean he will give us a rare Pokemon, it just means he's gonna call us when he wants to battle. Bit of a difference. But we can go into this cave, and we can get our next encounter. So we're gonna start off pretty well, Passage Cave. What is our encounter in this cave going to be? It's a Dunsparce, and you know what? I could not be happier. <laughs> I could not be happier with this thing right now. It's obviously- oh, it's another normal type. Okay, we're cursed to only get normal types and steel types. Normal and steel mono run? Maybe. Maybe don't roll out. That's gonna start racking up damage. Three damage. The next one's probably gonna do like five damage. That's our Orenberry prop, which I mean, <sighs> I would have preferred it to have been propped at a time when it was more useful. But I mean, it's fine. It's fine. Dunsparce being our encounter, I can't say I'm the happiest because I know there's lots of things we can get in here, but I'm pretty happy because. Dunsparce, there's more to it than it seems in this game. That's all I'm gonna say. There is more to Dunsparce than what meets the eye. So we're gonna catch our Dunsparce right here. Its drill-tipped tail is used to burrow into the ground backwards. This... 
I like the fact that it would go into the ground backwards. That's just a funny sight to me. I'd love the idea of a floppy little dunsparce on top of the ground. That sounds great. This Pokemon is known to make its nest in complex shapes deep under the ground. So we are going to name you what I name like all of my <laughs> dragons, uh, Sauref. And that's your name. There we go. Just, um, just saying. What? I said nothing. And our next encounter would have been a barrel, which would be dubs, but I mean, eh. Eh. Or dubs, not dubs. I don't like you calling it dubs. It's dubs. Oh well. This would have been the other thing we could have seen. And I wouldn't have been mad if we'd caught this, because there's a trade later on in the game for it, but just, just showing you. Zubat is still here. Zubat still has a form. Don't... Just let me run. Come on. Thank you. Good. Good. I don't want to be stuck. The annoying thing is, we don't have enough money for repels at this point in the game. I would love to have a repel right now. Love to have a repel. But we can't. Meaning, that's not what I clicked. Our team right now is so weak to fighting. <laughs> Our team is so ridiculously weak to fighting. The only thing we have that can kind of counter fighting is Bib. Which is a little bit worrying. We're gonna Leech Seed this thing because it's gonna have the mad defenses so we can get our health back and all that stuff. I can give our starter another Orenberry. I kinda wanna give Bib an Orenberry too. Because Bib is our fighting counter. We need to keep Bib alive. Bib needs to be there. Vine Whip did nothing. <sighs> we need a special attack. We need Flash Cannon. <laughs> Level 9 with Flash Cannon? I mean, it'd be pretty good. Sadly, that is not happening, I can assure you, but level 9 with Flash Cannon would be really nice. So one more Vine Whip plus Leech Seed should take him out. Maybe even just one more Vine Whip? No, not one more Vine Whip. The Leech Seed is needed. I'm glad I put the Leech Seed down at the start. He just hardened. Metapod. Just saying. He has another barrel. Um... We're gonna swap into our own and swap out again because we kind of- I kind of want to get XP on this thing to be honest. It has sturdy which means it's always gonna be somewhat useful. In fact it means I could- I mean there's no point staying in and going for one tackle. It's not worth staying in. <laughs> it's really not. Plus that thing might have- I don't know what other move it'll have. I think it's just got tackle and harden. So it really is the metapod of the start of this game but it'll get better with time. It'll evolve, it'll become better, and then it'll probably wreck one of our Pokemon, I'm sure. I'm sure we'll get wrecked at some point. So, we can Vine Whip. Again, and again, and again. And it gets tiring just Vine Whipping this thing, so I do want it dead. Not fainted, dead. This is a Nuzlocke. No fainting, death. Death awaits this thing. In the Shadow Realm. Wait, what? What? Wrong game? Wrong game. Okay. Wrong game. <laughs> I can dream. Either way, Panda's looking like it's about to hit level 10. That's kind of crazy. We could put Bib in front, but honestly, Bib doesn't fare too well against rock types. So I kind of want to keep the star in front. I, I mean, eh. This thing is a nightmare. Fun little story. This thing is Diglett, but stronger. Stronger in every way. Maybe not stronger in the defenses, but it's faster than Diglett, I'm pretty sure. And it gets Arena Trap. Can we run? We can run. Okay. It does get Arena Trap, but it's not 100% of the time. Meaning, I kind of have to lead with Panther through this entire cave, unless I want to lose Pokemon. I mean, I could lead with Bib. Yeah, I can lead with Bib. Bib can fight it. So we'll lead with Bib. Bib should be able to fight it. Bib doesn't like fighting Tonomies, because they can poison me. I don't want to get poisoned. Good. We can continue running through this cave. That's a... that's a fighting man. Orenberry, yes, give Bib right now. So if he does have a manky, excuse me, battle me. He's trying to win a hundred consecutive battles. I can tell you now, he has not won many if he is still having only a level seven manky, because he would have gained much more XP. So we will gust this thing. He's gonna focus energy. Ah, don't do this. How much is Gust doing? Blown back. <laughs> Get blown back. And a bar, Sean. <gasps> it's so adorable. I want one. I really want one. It's fighting dark, I think. I believe. I'm pretty sure. It's going to focus energy. We outsped, meaning this gust is going to take him out. Look at Bib putting in work. 
This name, it empowers the Pokemon, I'm sure. 106 XP, we're gonna hit level 9, which is nice. Because the first gym is a little bit higher than the levels we're at right now, but we're looking like we're gonna not have to grind, which is nice. Which is very nice. As we get to the next point in this cave, just to clarify, that doesn't mean we get a new encounter at each, like, different area of the cave, it has to be an entirely new area. So can we run from this thing or not? We can, okay. No arena trap yet, I am happy. Uh, autonomy, don't poison me, and we're good to go. We're good to go. This, this cave, this is going so well. This did not happen in my first run through of the game. Last time I came through here was a nightmare where I couldn't run from anything, I got poisoned. But we're, we're doing okay. So half of me wants to put the barrel in front. The other half really, really doesn't, because that ground type Pokemon is gonna ruin our life. That thing. If this thing has Arena Trap right now, I made the right call. It didn't, okay, well. I'm surveying the area to build a trail. It's so cumbersome to have to go through this area to go anywhere. Good luck, kid, take this, you'll need it. Revive, useless, useless, absolutely useless. We can't even use that on a Pokemon. Even if I wanted to cheat, I can't use it on a Pokemon because of the rules. And we can't escape from autonomy and we get poisoned. Let me run now, okay. So we do have Petra Berries. I don't think it's worth it, to be honest. I think we just let Bib be poisoned. We're gonna put Barrel in front and we're gonna try and get this guy to fight us. Would you like, would you like to fight please? I find it fun to randomly beat up innocent trainers. Don't have a Grozard. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. No, 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 don't have Arena Trap. No, I honestly thought he was just gonna have a Barrel. Please switch out. Oh, he doesn't have Arena Trap. Oh, we'd have just lost a Pokemon, I'm sure. We would, there was no way we were beating Grozard, right? I mean, if it only has Scratch, maybe we could have? Maybe we could have beat it with just Barry, but either way, swapping out into our starter is a much better turn of events. <laughs> I am much happier with this. Barrel lands Harden, Dunsparce, we can swap into that safely and swap back out again, which makes me a lot happier. Oh, if that thing had arena trap. That was a random chance. That was a flip of the coin. That has two abilities. Flip of the coin if that thing had that or not. I am... <sighs> I, I feel like I just lost a Pokemon, not gonna lie. That's how I feel right now. Obviously we didn't, but I feel like we, we got put into a situation like that. I do want to make it through this cave, which it's looking like we're gonna make it through this cave, which puts us in a nice, nice spot for the next episode. So we're gonna heal up with Leaf Seed. Always good, always nice. We can Vine Whip. We do get Metal Claw in not too long. Rage, that is not a strong move. <laughs> that is one of the reasons why Dunsparce is at the bottom of the barrel in Pokemon right now, because it doesn't evolve in the actual games. And uh, it doesn't get the best of moves. And its stats aren't the best either. It's just, it's just kind of niche all around. And I hate that, because Dunsparce is a fun Pokemon. Look at its little wings. Look at it as it tries to fly. Adorable. I want 20. <laughs> and Barrel hits level 5, which is nice. It's nice. It's good because it has Sturdy, which means if there's ever a time when we desperately need it, it's there. We probably shouldn't have Barrel in front. We can't escape. Here we go. You're going to try and Poison Gas me. That's not going to work. And we should be out of the cave. And we are now in Now Touch City, meaning... Uh, Pokemon don't die to poison either, by the way. Just in case anyone was like freaking out, like, your Pokemon's gonna die! It's not gonna die to poison. Thankfully that mechanic isn't in this game, because that's the worst mechanic in my opinion. I absolutely hate games where poison kills Pokemon. It's just stupid. Because you're not even in a battle at that point, and it, it's just one of those things that I don't like in Pokemon. Admittedly it hasn't been a mechanic since like Gen 4, I want to say. I feel like Gen 4 was where they got rid of it. Maybe Gen 3? Around that area, anyway. But we have made it to Now Touch City, the gym in this city we are going to be facing next episode. Why did I say that so strangely? Words in the correct order do not wish to be spoken. But that is going to be our team for this episode. We have so many fighting weaknesses. <laughs> okay, fighting weaknesses, the lock, right here. Bib, you are our lord and savior right now. We're going to... We're gonna struggle, we're gonna struggle. But that is gonna wrap up this episode. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that sorry, hit that subscribe button. God, tongue twisters. And without further ado, bye!